morning and welcome to Ambry Genetics. My name is Manny Jaquez and I'm the General Lab Manager of our Clinical Operations. Today we'll be taking you through a quick tour of our Super Lab. We opened the Super Lab in January of 2016. We built and designed this entire facility from the ground up. It's an accomplishment we're really proud of, something we're excited to show off to you today. Super Lab's a secured facility. Only authorized lab personnel are allowed inside this space. Just one more added safety and security feature we can provide our patients. One of the first things you'll notice as we walk in are these beautiful bright blue floors. When we moved into our last facility, we liked them so much we placed them throughout the entire Super Lab. The first room we'll be touring you through today is our accessioning department. Our accessioning team is responsible for receiving all of our specimens day in and day out. Every specimen that arrives at Ambry is given its own unique identifier. We use that unique identifier throughout the entire testing process. Specimens ready for processing will be placed on this conveying system you see to my side here. This conveyor belt will route those specimens to one of these two auto-sorting robots. This first sorter will handle all the specimens ready for processing, while the second sorter handles all of the specimens ready for storage. All of our specimens are archived stored in this walk-in fridge freezer here. Everything is barcode labeled so we can easily retrieve any of our specimens. Specimens that move forward in the testing process will then be placed on one of these several DNA extraction robots. These are all automated and they basically take the raw specimen, whole blood or saliva, and turn it into a tube of DNA. Each tube of DNA is also individually barcoded to ensure proper tracking throughout the entire process. In this next space we're going to take you to, we're looking at concentration of those extracted DNAs as well as a few other quality metrics to ensure high quality DNA throughout the entire testing process. This team is also responsible for ensuring that all the specimens are routed to the appropriate teams for testing. One of those teams is our Sanger sequencing team, which is the next room we'll be taking you through. Sanger sequencing is often referred to as the gold standard in genetic testing. It's been a tried and true methodology that's been around for quite a long time. A lot of other laboratories use Sanger sequencing as well. We do so slightly differently. Uh, when we run a next generation sequencing panel and find a rare or novel mutation, we will confirm that using this secondary technology. We're looking at the same genetic information using two sets of chemistry, two sets of instrumentation, and two entire teams. What we're doing is ensuring that the genetic information that we're seeing is 100% accurate to the best of our abilities. Next, we're going to take you upstairs to our next gen sequencing space where we'll look at where the prep for those panels takes place as well as the sequencing of those panels. You'll notice as we walk through the lab, various colored lab coats throughout the different rooms. That's on purpose. Uh, if you picture our entire process as a one-way street, you would never want to go backwards on that one-way street. Uh, the different colored lab coats ensure that none of our techs or none of our samples will go backwards in the processing, therefore ensuring that no cross-contamination occurs on the front end of our steps. The next room we're going to take you to is our next generation sequencing prep space. And in that room, we prep all of our cancer panels as well as all of our whole exome sequencing panels. So follow me this way. You notice a lot of empty space and blank walls as we first walk in. That's by design. We wanted to make sure we left ourselves plenty of space to grow. At each one of these walls, we have dedicated power, data, and compressed dried air. I can take a new piece of equipment, place it on a bench, and start using it immediately. In this space back here, we prep for our Cancer Next, NGS, and whole exome sequencing tests. The way this differs from Sanger sequencing is rather than looking at one gene at a time or one mutation site at a time, we're looking at whole panels of genes. With our whole exome sequencing, we'd actually look at every coding region in your entire genome. Each one of these assays is set up on one of these benches back here, all automated and barcoded. The reagents for each one of these tests is stored in one of these many walk-in fridge freezers that you see here. All of our reagents are prepped by our reagent team and stocked daily. We have 24-7 monitoring of each one of these systems as well, so we can make sure that all of our reagents stay within the appropriate temperature ranges. Each one of these Walk-in fridge freezers also has redundant backup compressors to make sure that even if we have a power outage, we'll never lose temperature tracking of our reagents. The samples that were prepped in the previous room are then loaded onto these NGS sequencers here. These instruments all function similarly, but are each specific to a different test. You see a high level of redundancy in this room because we wanted to make sure that no matter what happens, we're still able to get results to our clients. One of the first systems that we adopted when we first moved into this building was the Agena Masseray. What this system does for us is it gives us 40 genetic sites plus four different tests for gender. The system over here basically gives us a genetic fingerprint for every single specimen that comes in through the door. We use that genetic fingerprint throughout the entire testing process to ensure a high level of accuracy. The next area we're going to take you to is our chromosomal microarray space. With chromosomal microarray, we're looking at your entire chromosomal makeup and comparing it to a healthy individual. 
we're looking at specific genetic sites and we're looking at copy number variants. We want to see if patients have either a gain of function or loss of function at these genetic sites. As we walk into this space, you'll notice the lights are a little bit dimmer. It's on purpose also. Here we use light sensitive probes for our testing. We want to make sure that none of these probes suffer any degradation. On these instruments here, you'll see we prep all of our chromosomal microarrays, also automated as well. The chromosomal microarrays are also processed along these benches and these instruments here. The chromosomal microarray is a component of the NGS panel, as well as the confirmatory Sanger sequencing you saw downstairs. Again, we're looking at various technologies and methodologies to ensure the highest level of quality to give you the best, most well-rounded result for your clients. So thank you for touring with us today. It's been a pleasure showing you the Embry Genetics Super Lab.